believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes in the night while you are sleeping, your breath will just cease. Even when driving. But the most dangerous is when you are sleeping. It is for a moment like this, God kept you alive. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are free in the name of Jesus. Στο ποντοδύναμο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. In the name of Jesus. Στο όνομα του Ιησού. Look, sister, κοίταξε αδερφή. Are you listening English? Yes, I mm-hmm. It is by the grace of God you are still alive. Είναι με τη χάρη του Θεού που είσαι ακόμα ζωντανή. Just the grace of God. Μόνο η χάρη του Θεού. You need to say thank you Jesus for keeping me alive. Because I see you. Γιατί σε βλέπω. Sometimes in the night while you are sleeping. Μερικές φορές όταν κοιμάσαι το βράδυ. Your, your breath would just cease. Σταματάει η αναπνοή σου. You cannot breathe. Δεν μπορείς να αναπνεύσεις. Even when driving. Even while driving. Walking, yeah. But the most dangerous is when you are sleeping. Αλλά το πιο επικίνδυνο είναι όταν κοιμάσαι. Because imagine when you are sleeping everything is relaxing. Γιατί γιατί σκέψεις ότι όταν κοιμάσαι τα πάντα χαλαρώνουν. That is how your spirit could just leave your body if not the grace of God. Αν δεν ήταν η χάρη του Θεού σου, του Θεού, το πνεύμα σου θα έφευγε από το σώμα σου. Okay, so you need to give thanks to God for keeping you alive. Πρέπει να ευχαριστήσεις τον Θεό που σε κράτησε ζωντανή. It is for a moment like this God kept you alive. Για μια στιγμή σαν κι αυτήν ο Θεός σε κράτησε. Because he wants to glorify his name in your life. Επειδή θέλει να δοξάσει το όνομά του. Stand up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Στο πατοδύναμο όνομα του Ιησού. Out! Έξω. The spirit of death out. Πρέπει να του έξω. Out the name of Jesus. Έξω στο όνομα του Ιησού. Come out. Βγες έξω. Έξω. In Jesus name. Στο όνομα του Ιησού. You are free in the name of Jesus. Είσαι ελεύθερη στο όνομα του Ιησού. Σε ευχαριστώ Ιησού. Σε ευχαριστώ Θεέ μου. How is your body now? Check your body. Check yourself. You are free. Έλεγξε το σώμα σου. Πώς νιώθεις. Είσαι ελεύθερη. Πολύ δυνατή νιώθω. You are free now. Είσαι ελεύθερη. Welcome you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations here in Thessalonica. Please introduce yourself, tell us your name and where you're coming from. My name is Saina Olaruwaju. Please tell us where you're coming from. I came from UK. Who is the young man standing next to you? He's my son. So sister, indeed, we thank the Lord for keeping you alive till the day you received this prophecy. And now you're here in the presence of the Lord to testify to his goodness. So we know that the beginning of your trials was the beginning of your wonderful testimony. So we can't wait to hear what the Lord has done and how everything starts. In 2013, when I was working uh, in a vegetable complaint, after closing time, when I wanted to wash where we worked, I was about to lift up the hose. I just heard a crack at my back. That was how I had a spinal injury. What happened later on? 
I was rushed to the hospital and diagnosed that I lost uh, uh, my spinal injury that I'm going to be operated. And they operated me immediately. But after six months, uh, doctor, I was still having pain to the extent that I, I went to the hospital again. And doctor told me that uh, the operation was not well done, that uh, they are going to operate me again or to take injection, that is 50-50 uh, chance that it's possible that I'm going to be paralyzed after the operation. Then I decided to take a pain killer, um, which the injection, uh, a pain killer injection, which was a 150 euro uh, per one injection. How often did you have to use these injections? I have to take the injection one per week. For how long did you take these injections that cost 150 euros? I took it for six weeks. We would like to watch on our screens the medical report that our sister brought from the doctor, which shows that she had a problem in her spine, she had an operation, and was forced to take painkillers because she refused to be operated. So sister, tell us, how did this problem affect you? It affected me daily because uh, I couldn't go to work. And also, I have to take painkillers after the injection, six tablets per day. And um, I have to wear seat, be I mean, sorry, belt to lift up things and to drive long time is take me lots of work to do. Were you able to do daily things on your own or you have to be assisted by someone? I could not. My children have to help me or my husband. How are you surviving financially? It was very bad. I couldn't work. I have to depend on the child benefit that I was receiving then. It was bad. Was that enough for you and your family to survive and live a good life? It wasn't enough for me. So sister, we just heard in the video also, you came for prayer and we saw the man of God giving you a prophetic word. He mentioned that you were having a breathing problem and we would like to hear more about that. How do you confirm what the man of God said? Yeah, the prophetic was true because uh, I could remember uh, to drive. Sometimes when I'm driving, I almost had accidents. I lost my, uh, I lost my breathing. Also, there was a time when I was traveling to South Africa in 2018. I uh, was like lost in the plane when the air hostess asked me what I'm going to eat. So I couldn't answer. I was like... I was not in the plane. Then the person beside me was eating me. I couldn't respond. Then they all said they have to put a, a oxygen my, on me for, so I can react. Did you ever visit a doctor concerning this problem? And if yes, what did he advise you to do? Yes, I visited a doctor. Then my doctor uh, told me that I have to be using oxygen once in a while. And also uh, like in Nala, like somebody that have uh, a patient with asthma. You also heard the man of God saying that while you were sleeping, your breath would cease. And by the grace of God that you're alive, because by that, your spirit could just leave your body. Can you please tell us, what were you experiencing at night? Uh, yeah, um, I used to breathe like rapidly. And sometimes like I'm not breathing at all. So my children used to tell me that the way I slept, that is not good. So we'd also like to hear from the son. Brother, we welcome you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Please introduce yourself, tell us your name and where are you coming from? My name is Angel Fallos. I come from Spain. So tell us, how do you confirm what your mother is saying? So, um, when my mother was sleeping, um, sometimes I hear, I hear she breathing and she was breathing very fast. She was, uh, I was scared because uh, I was thinking maybe she was having some health problem or something like that. And yeah. At this point, we would like to watch on our screens the medical report that our sister has brought, which shows that she has a breathing problem and has to use a special instrument for her to receive more oxygen. Sister, can you mention another incident that something very serious almost happened to you? 
Yeah, another incident um, that uh, there was a day when I was driving, almost an accident. Yeah. Also, sometimes I I, I used to have a uh, crap. I can't cross my leg, but now, uh, thank God. So, sister, we would like to hear how are you after the day that you came here and you received prayer from the man of God. Yeah, glory be to God. Okay, since then I used to sleep good now. And also, I don't take a pain scaler like before anymore. And also, I can bend down. I can cross my leg without having pains, uh, crap pains. I can stand, jump. I can sit down. I can turn. I can do everything. We can Hallelujah. Do Sister, go on. Yeah, and also before I couldn't drive long distance, glory be to God, I drove from uh, Germany when I moved to UK, nine hours for truth. Do you still use an inhaler or an oxygen bag? No, I don't even use a belt for driving, not by lifting, thank God. Hallelujah. Sister, we are very happy for what the Lord has done in your life. And we know that this is just the beginning of your wonderful blessing, breakthrough, and healing. So we would like to hear from you a word of advice to people who may be facing difficulties, health problems. What do you have to say to them? My advice is for people is that they should keep on trusting God. There is nothing impossible for God to do. They should keep on trusting God. Hallelujah. And we would like to hear from you a promise to God Almighty. Yeah, we keep on trusting God, being working in His way. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God Almighty once again. And we would also like to encourage you to make the Word of God the standard for your life. Continue to seek God's face. And we know that as you do that, the sky will be your limit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.